Ripple, one of the leading blockchain firms and the issuer of the XRP coin, has been in a legal battle with the US SEC over two years. The SEC accused Ripple of issuing XRP as unrecorded securities. Still, the blockchain company maintains that XRP is not a security and operates independently of Ripple. In a recent interview, Ripple's CEO has given us a new update on Ripple's versus SEC lawsuit and will tell you all about it in today's video. But before we get into the video, make sure you subscribe to our channel and press that bell icon to never miss an update. In an interview with Fox Business correspondent Charlie Gasparino, the Ripple boss conceded that the company's ongoing legal battle with the SEC has gone quite well. He further noted that his company's case will set a major precedent with the crypto space. The case has gone quite well. A lot of it has been skirmishes around discovery, but it's clear that the judge understands that this is an important case and it's going to be a precedent. Now we're getting close to summary judgment filings. Everything will be before the judge now by the end of November, he said. When asked if he believes the case will be concluded this time, Garlinghouse said, that's an optimistic view, but it's not impossible. Earlier in April, Judge Annalise Torres had modified the summary judgment briefing schedule. Based on the new one, the motions for summary judgment presented by both parties must be completely briefed before November 15. Later, the judge would review the case and announce a verdict. According to Garlinghouse, the climax of Ripple's legal battle with the SEC will depend on how long the judge takes to review the case. Garlinghouse pointed out that the U.S. watchdog has been trying to drag the case for as long as possible. He added that a lot of the talking points made by SEC Chairman Gary Gensler don't make sense. He said a lot of things that I think are talking points that don't really make a lot of sense. He says justice delayed is justice denied. Yet they brought this lawsuit against Ripple and every possible juncture They've sought to delay the case and we're trying to move as quickly as we can. We continue to move as quickly as we can, he said. Meanwhile, Joseph Hall, an attorney who formerly worked at the SEC, said in February that Ripple seems to have the upper hand in the suit. According to Hall, there was no good reason for the commission to file a case in the first place and there's a pretty good chance that they lose all the merits in the end. That's all for today. Let us know your views in the comments section below. And don't forget to like this video before leaving. Thanks for watching.